Hi, it's me, your friendly neighborhood alien stranded here on the third rock from the sun. Hi, Kyrie Star, and today I am going to be playing some more Dragon Age 2 Act 3. I am going to do this as sort of a marathon, I think. Um, I was, sorry, I was looking at the dogs. I was thinking about this last weekend. It's like, yeah, I kind of just want to go through as much of Dragon Age 3 Act 3 as possible, but I did not want to do it last night. So, I'm going to do as much of it as I can today, and later on we'll be showing the serial, just not right now. So, I'm just going to start right now with some Dragon Age. Two, Electric Boogaloo, Exodus, Back in the Habit. The squeakwall. Resume. Man, because I just want to start playing. This is still my favorite of the Dragon Age game, so. Okay. Now, I'm going to deal with some um, paperwork first, as it were. Seeing if there's anything. It's got a name. And that goes right back into inventory. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm just going to go straight to Fenris's mansion. Okay. I'm going to keep my armor as it is. Okay. There, Fenris's armor. Actually, can I wear Fenris's armor? No, I cannot. Okay. Isabella. She doesn't get new armor yet. Okay. And Varric also doesn't have new armor yet. Okay. These are my absolute bestest friends in the world. I'll do Hawk last. She doesn't have any new armor. Uh, she doesn't have any new armor. And he doesn't have any new armor. Okay. Oh, great. I'm like best friends with him. I know I'm going to be best friends with Aveline. She's awesome. Pretty good friends with pretty much everybody. That's nice. 
I'm a friendly sort. Okay, get one ability point. I say the increased fury is only right for being champion at Kirkwall. Okay. Back to the Hawk Estate. Welcome home, Miss Air. Everything's quiet here in the mansion for the moment. That's good. I make enchantments. That you do, Sandal. Okay. I think, no, I do not want to destroy it. I want to sell it. That way you can get rid of all this junk. And get a little more coin. We'll do weapons later. Sebastian and Isabella. Okay. And we'll do questioning beliefs, and then we'll do that. After I sell some junk. I'll take Anders with me. Just gonna go to Hightown. They're gonna meet me outside. time for joking. I'm helping you indulge in elaborate revenge fantasies. I think it's good for you. Meredith will die. Do not doubt that. Oh, go away, Justice. Can Anders come out and play? Stop. You are no fun anymore. There, now time to go to the Chantry and talk to Sebastian. There's still more, I know there is. Someone will try to find as many of them as possible. I'm 
really need to do stuff on the Chanter's border. But you're right, he's right, Anders. You are kind of dull now. By now, you must see what an injustice the Templars are. Must I? I see Templars trying to control what they have good reason to fear. But they go too far. Talk to Hawk about his mother. Ask him who went too far. You can't hold all mages responsible for that. It doesn't take all mages to cause this. Only the weak ones. Honestly, he does, got a, he does have a good point, Anders. You're right, I can't hold all mages responsible. And I don't. My sister was not responsible for it. But you're not my sister. I don't like you nearly as much. The crowds present at the death of Andraste were right to feel despair. I just believe that the prophet's execution angered the maker, and he turned his back on humanity once more, leaving the people of Thetis to suffer in the dark. In these dark times, mankind scrambled for a light, any light. Some found comfort in demonic cults that promised power and riches in return for worship. Others prayed to the old gods for forgiveness, begging the great dragons to return to the world. Still others fell so low as to worship the darkspawn, forming vile cults dedicated to the exaltation of evil in its purest form. It is said that the world wept as its people begged for a savior who would not come. Andraste's followers, however, did not abandon her teachings when she died. The cult of Andraste rescued her sacred ashes from the courtyard in Renrathus after her, her, her execution, stealing them away to a secret temple. The location of that temple has been long lost. That they're roughhousing back there. But the ashes of Andraste served as a symbol of the enduring nature of the faith in the Maker. That humanity could earn the Maker's forgiveness despite its grievous insult upon him. With time, the cult of Andraste spread and grew, and the chant of light took form. Sing this chant in the four corners of Thetis, it was said, and the world would gain the Maker's attention at last. As the chant of light spread, the cult of Andraste became known as the Andraste Enchantry. Those who converted to the Chantry's belief found it their mission to spread Andraste's word. There were many converts, including powerful people in the Imperium and in the city-states of what is now Orle. Such was the power of the Maker's world that the young King Drakon undertook a series of exalted marches meant to unite the city-states and create an empire solely dedicated to the Maker's will. The Orlesian Empire became the seat of the Chantry's power, and the ga Grand Cathedral in Valerio the source of mo the movement that birthed the organized chantry as we know today. Drakon, by then Emperor Drakon I, created the Circle of Magi, the Order of Templars, and the Holy Office of the Divine. Many within the chantry view him nearly as equal with Andraste herself. Sorry, my brain is just like not putting these words together properly. What are you two doing? hearing weird sounds in there and I can't see what they're doing because they're trying to eat each other's heads. They're, they're roughhousing. They're playing. They're trying to eat each other's heads. The modern chantry is a thing of faith and beauty, but it is also a house of necessity protecting Thetas from powerful forces that would do it harm. Where the Grey Wardens protect the world from the Blights, the chantry protects mankind from itself. Most of all, the Chantry works to earn the Maker's forgiveness, so that one day he will return and transform the world into the paradise it was always meant to be. From Tales of the Destruction of Thetis by Brother Chenna TV, Chantry Scholar, who knows where the te Sacred Temple of Andraste is? Let's 
Seeing if there's anything to loot. I mean, I gotta talk to Sebastian, but might as well, you know, loot. I would have liked to have seen the Grand Cathedral in Valerio. It's probably a thing of, you know, opulence. Sister Patrice. Nice to see you doing well. I'm giving it all up. I made a vow to the Chantry and it was wrong to turn my back. Sebastian, listen to yourself. You're as impulsive now as the day you turned away from us. Do you think the Maker wants another rashly spoken vow that you'll abandon when the next passion takes you? I will not. This is your life, child. Don't spend it being blown about like a weather vane. But here's Hawk. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. Okay. I don't think sense is really my strong suit. How long has she spent telling me to return to the Chantry? And now that I want to, she won't take me. It was wrong for me to break my oath to the Chantry. I've turned against the Maker. And for what? Why would I want to rule Starkhaven and deal with jackals like Lady Harriman for the rest of my life? Well, what do you want to do? Do you see yourself as a prince or a priest? That's exactly the question I've been praying for guidance about. When I think of going to Starkhaven, calling on allies like Flora Harriman and all the corrupt, scheming nobles, my throat swells shut in horror. When I think about staying, I'm at peace. If you give it up, what then? I suppose I must convince Elthina my commitment is sincere. Then I will remain here to represent the Maker's interests as she thinks best. Here's the real question. You should ask what's best for your people, not just for you. I do not have hubris enough to imagine it matters to the common people who rules them. Kirkwall does well enough with no one in the Viscount's seat. Someone will take the reins. The fields will be planted, the crops gathered. No one will notice that a veil lives and isn't there. And I can devote my life to the Maker's will on Fadus. Let's see what happens. You're wise to stay here. No one trusts a man who breaks his oath. I cannot return to Starkhaven and subject my people to war without a clear sign that it's the Maker's will. Oh, great. I've unlocked an achievement. Now what do you want? Again? How many questioning beliefs? Hawk should do it. Kirkwall needs a Viscount. Have you asked him? It would be Hawk's decision. I watched my parents in Starkhaven. When times are good, the city rules itself. Years could pass and no one would notice who's prince. But when there's famine, when there's war, people look to their leaders. Who does Kirkwall have beyond Hawk? This is probably a conversation for the two of you to have. What are you doing in that? Aren't you the guard you captain? Me to be Viscount. Andraste said the Maker is king in the heavens, but it is the kings of Thetis who must recreate his worldly glory. I keep thinking about that. Who better serves the Maker? A brother of the faith or a prince who can sway a whole city? Hey, honestly, man. You'll never know what the right choice is. Might as well just make one. Elthina is risking her life by not deserting her flock. Could can I, I do the same? Can we get done with the... 15 years since I lived in Starkhaven. The people there are only a memory to me. Kirkwall, the Chantry, 
That's real. That's where I belong. Well then. Great. Now that's out of the way, let's get a drink. <laughs> Sorry to burden you with my doubts, but I do appreciate you hearing me out. You've been a good friend, Hawk. I will stay as much for you as for her grace. I am definitely going to say this. If I could romance him as a guy and it wasn't going to be purely chaste and it could start in Act 1, I'd consider it. I mean, I think the model is very, you know, very well designed, you know, to make him a very attractive man. He's got really awesome armor and the voice is sexy. I, I would. Any more questioning beliefs? Okay. Okay, hangman. I'm just gonna go straight there. I'm not gonna run around. I only did that so I could you no know, do the you know, do the selling. I'm gonna go around. So, I noticed some notes on the table the other day. Interesting work you got there. <laughs> I'm doing a little writing. What's the speed, Griffin? <laughs> Do they zip around Fadus, terrorizing Darkspawn with their lightning reflexes? <laughs> speed, Griffin. Good one. You know, I think with that attitude, you deserve that black eye. You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. Bow. Don't you have a funeral to attend? What? You mean Castillons? <laughs> I hope the cleansing blaze of the funeral pyres rejects his vile, sagging ass. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. Now you know where I am. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. Yeah. What can I say? Cheap drinks. I was drawn in by the intoxicating aroma of stale piss and vomit. <laughs> it's funny. Now that I think about it, getting a ship just doesn't seem that important. I just hate to have to say goodbye. You're the best friend I've had in... in a very long time. <laughs> a toast. To friendship and to us. To friendship and to us. You know what? I should take Isabella with me. I might need a mage. Sorry, Fenris. I'm going to take Isabella this time. I love you, man, but... I think this quest requires an Isabella. They need to see the might of the looks of this. That should do it. More traps.
I don't think he was prepared for that. ignoring the consequences of your actions this is about the canary thing isn't it i'm not ignoring it i just recognize that it happened years ago there's this fantastic thing called moving on you should try it sometime has it occurred to you that kirkwall is only just recovering from the canary attack and you want me to what flog myself daily has it occurred to you that maybe there's no justice in the world other than that voice you keep in your head. Okay, I'm not going to read that. I'm just going to get to the Dalish. Hi, guys. Ariane, I'm gonna to talk to Ariane for a second. See how she's doing. It is good to be among my people again. That's nice. Hi. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Oh yes. Did you need something? Um. So how's? I just wanted to know how your clan was doing. We are doing quite well, considering. It is our hope that one of our sister clans will give us some of their Hala by year's end. Greetings, champion. Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among <sighs> us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him and to tell anyone who asked where he was. No, he's not very good though. The point of hiding was not to be found. He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? Nope. He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. No, no, we're, we, we, we got this. Strange. Why would the assassin want the Dalish to give away his location? Maybe he's not a very good assassin. Never think. Master Island. Do you got anything I can? That's, that's kind of cool, Master Island. Like backpacks. Dalish crafting is second to none. I assure you. Oh, trust me, I know. I'm proud Dalish elf myself. Well, not really. But I tend to play proud Dalish elves. Oh, shite. Darkspawn. Just outside the Dalish camp. Okay. You may have set up traps. Or spiders. Wasp spiders. Ugh. Go down. Video game spiders combined with real wasps would be scary. I. I do not like that.
Uh, before I go into this little mountain town, I mean cave. Well, there's a couple of corpses. Just confident in his abilities, I guess. Like, I totally don't know who the assassin is. Not like I've been waiting to see this assassin for a little bit now. Bring the dog in here. There we go. Way too many bodies to look right now. Or loot. Lurk. Bodies to lurk. My brain is now worky today. Well, Assassin's obviously waiting for us, so. We should do something about that, shouldn't we? Though there was something very suspicious about the guy who hired us to deal with this assassin. I mean, generally, nobles do not have, you know, two daggers strapped to their back. 
I mean, yeah, it could be an even fashion statement, but it seems a little sketchy to me. Oh, one of these again. These things return in Dragon Age uh, Veil Guard. Now you, I wasn't expecting. No, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled uneven leather. <laughs> Isabella, if it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? Tell yes. me, is this one as adventurous as our dear warden? We could always ask. <laughs> no, no. As fun as that would be, I am committed elsewhere. Ah, that's good. Well, for the warden. How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I'm so happy to see him. I've heard about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden stop the blight. At your service, my friend. And is the hero's I boyfriend. Must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. Oh. An assault by the crows. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan crows. No, I do. The finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. That makes sense. I don't have a, I don't have any fear of them. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. So that's why they're after you? There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, other men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, Good. if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. So, and you heard of me? How do you know I'm the champion? Slayer of Kunari, Deep Roads Explorer, and may I say, one fine specimen of man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you thank you very much, Zev. Thank you very much, Zev. I am definitely a fine specimen. Of what? I don't know, but I am definitely a fine specimen. How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? Well, she's just my yes. friend. You'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. I thought you'd be taller. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? Yes. What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Yes. Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? I, I'm I'm taken, man. I'm sorry. He also said you were a wanted murderer. Oh, indeed I am. Uh, but technically, I imagine everyone here can rightfully claim that title. Yeah, that's true. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends, unlike myself. But you are a man who can clearly handle himself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nuncio. Which will it be, I wonder? Ah. Uh. You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I'm not going to flirt with him. And since you're friends with the warden, I don't want to piss the warden off. He saved Ferelden, and I'm technically still from Ferelden. I'm 
I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. Ah, as wise as you are breathtaking. You remind me of a very dear friend. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. I have a mod to fix the bug with him. That basically, um, would let me, um, sleep with him because. I feel wrong. Severin is in a committed relationship with the Warden. And I don't think the Warden would mind, but at the same time, I kind of like the fact that, you know, they don't, th they, they don't even think about that. And you let him go? Oh, he's a friend of the warden. Thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here. <laughs> No, I don't think he will. Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. You really, really don't want to do this, man. Yeah, this is what you get for lying to me, man. I don't think one ant even crows nearly enough. Oh, hi there. Oh, yes, we are. He knows us adventuring types so well. So well. Gonna be honest, I missed you, Zevran. You're the only reason why I want to play Dragon Age Origins again. Just so I can romance you all over again. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but... Perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. No thanks. I don't need my your help. Dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? 
Uh, normally I would jump at the chance, but my dear warden, maybe a tad put out. It is time for me to move on. I have a warden to return to after all. It's been far too long. Perhaps we'll meet again, champion. I wish. I would love to have seen you again. Okay, that requires that, and that is Isabella's new armor, okay. Oh, we got, got text, I have to, I, this is some, something I think I have to answer. So you can have that one. I've got my daggers. I miss Severin, though. Okay. I'm going to go back to High Tomb. Varric, how does one get made a paragon? The assembly votes on it. Enough votes, and bam. You're a living god. You should ask to be made a paragon of manliness. Oh, I like the way you think, Ravani. But one doesn't just ask to be made a paragon. Why not? Everyone can see you're a paragon of manliness. It's just a matter of making it official. Are you two sleeping together? I hope so. You two do deserve the hap all the happiness you guys can get. I mean, you are my friends after all. Okay, what do we got for quests? Okay, so I want to save... I'm gonna, um, Okay, so I'm gonna hit these main plots here. I'm gonna move my phone for a little bit. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, I think. I know some stuff will happen after that. Good to see you again, sir. May I say again how thankful I am you've allowed Sandor to remain. He seems very happy. Any mail? Okay. 
That's the whole reason I came in here. Time to head to the gallows. I want to take the guard captain with me. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take respectable folk with me. Make me look a little more respectable. I look a little respectable here. I'm going to go meet with the night captain and she's ba night commander and she's basically the viscount. The power of behind the throne has become the throne. You know, when I return to Starkhaven, you're welcome to come with me. And do what exactly? You're a fine warrior. If you could train men to fight like you do, we'd be unstoppable. I'm no leader, and I doubt humans would want me training them. Then why not train elves? I bet there's plenty who would admire all you've accomplished. I haven't accomplished anything. No. You are your own man, living as you see fit. You give yourself too little credit. You are being kind. Not at all. Think about it. Are you flirting with my man, Sebastian? You know, it's Sebastian. Fenris and I are a package deal, so if, if you want to be with him, you can have to be with me too. Just saying. took this fire gland from a high dragon just outside the city. You killed a high dragon? Incredible. Let me see the fire gland. Yeah, can you use it? Is there anything you can make from it? This fire gland is a remarkable specimen. Wait here. I know exactly what I can craft from this. This turned out beautifully. Something worthy of our champion. I hope you can put it to good use. So do I. I think Sebastian's trying to get with me and Fenris. I mean, I'm down for it. Hi. Anyway, I can go, go see my sister. Can I, can, I, can I go see my sister? I want to go visit my sister. Anyway, I can visit my sister. Before I have to talk to the night commander. I want to talk to my sister. I want to see Bethany. Can I see Bethany? Bethany in here? You're not Bethany. This is a difficult time for Kirk Wall. I want to see Bethany. I, 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 I don't want to see the Night Commander. She's boring. Um, why do we have a rack? Are you into kinky stuff with Arsino, uh, Meredith? No, you can say, Elsa, hi Elsa. Can I see my sister? The night commander wishes to speak to you. Yeah, well, I want to see my sister. Fine, maybe Meredith will let me go see my sister. Can I see my sister? Champion, welcome. Always a pleasure. And may I say that outfit was a wise choice. Okay, I think we're done with the, the foot. I do not wear this armor for the way it looks, champion. No, that's far too flattering to be an accident. Compliments are unnecessary. This is no social call. Oh, it's always a social call. Can I see my sister? Can I see my sister? I miss my sister. There was an incident within the gallows. 
a number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. Okay. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Something strange about that sword. Eventually, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more difficult. And... Since you're turning to me, should I assume the Templars all suddenly disappeared? The apostates are being sheltered by their families. Some have been reluctant to talk to Templars. Something familiar about that sword. Are another matter. The people of Kirkwall trust you, champion. They will be more honest for you than for us. Well, then I guess I'll try. To, I'll do what I can. I'll see what I can do. I am relieved. I was expecting resistance after that debacle at the market. Talk to these mages' families. Learn where they are hiding and find them before they do harm. They're not going to do harm. See that imprisonment or death is sometimes the only kindness we can offer. Speak to my assistant, Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, champion. Hi, Elsa. Can I go see my sister now? Good day, champion of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. But she does not know for certain. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. Okay, well, uh, tell me about Huon. hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lowtown. Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. Could Huon be hiding among the other elves in the alienage? The Templars' searches uncovered nothing. The Templars have also concluded that few other elves would risk hiding him. Huon was taken many years ago. Most of the alienages inhabitants do not even know him. Okay, tell me about Emil. Tell me what you know about Emil. The second apostate is Emil de Lance. Oh, the great, de Lance. Out of High Town, some of our more vocal and delicate nobility. They are home in the evenings authoring complaints. What have they said? To That's the great. The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emil since he was a child. What do you know about the Delancey's? Comte Guillaume de Lancey is a minor noble from Orlais. He and his wife came to the Free Marches over three decades ago. Emil was born in Kirkwall and sent to the Circle at age six. And this Evelina. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the Circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. She presented herself to the First Enchanter on her arrival and asked to take her place here. That doesn't sound like a fugitive. Anything else? Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent Blight survivors. Did the Templars run her into Darktown? Yes, they tracked her there, but she killed several pursuers. The Templars believe she is the most dangerous apostate. Well then? I have all the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, Champion of Kirkwall. Well then, I'm... Going to gather some friends together, I guess. Uh, can I go see Bethany now? Well, will somebody go let me see Bethany? Hey, hey, hey. Um. Please do not converse with the mages. I want to see my sister, though. 
Uh, fine. I just want to see my sister. See how she's getting, getting on. It's been a while. Thank you for that tip, Fenris. You caught them then? Yes. A whole nest of slave runners working out of the Undercity. I imagine you imprisoned them? Sadly, they never made it to prison. You always know how to make me smile, Aveline. Night, Captain. Champion, it seems you've become less a friend to the Templars in the years since your ascent. Yeah. But surely you can see the Knight Commander directly now, should you wish. What would you have of me? Um. How many I just wanted to see how an old friend is doing in this difficult time. After what happened in Ferelden, I told myself I would never again question the purpose of the Order. But it grows harder each day to tell whether I'm serving the Templars or only the Knight Commander. It may be that they are no longer one and the same. So I get to my sister. Sir Thrask? Can I see my sister? She stepped into the Viscount's shoes. Meredith has forgotten her duty to the Templars. Okay, I just want to see my sister. Okay, they won't let me see my sister. They're all jerks. Templars are jerks. Actually, you know what? Okay, I'm going to go to the alienage first. So, I'm going to go to the hanged man. Get a drink, get a meryl. I spoke with Knight Commander Meredith. I definitely need a drink. So, I noticed some notes on the table the other day. Interesting work from them. Oh, actually, I was gonna came here for another reason too. I would love to play the Battle of the Squealing Plains. We could do Dragon Age 5, Nug Storm. Aveline, you look after Hawk, won't you? Of course I will. What kind of a question is that? And sometimes Isabella gets into awful trouble. You watch out for her too. Meryl, what brought this on? Anything could happen. You'll protect them, though. It's what you do. There's nothing to worry about, Meryl. Oh, there's always something to worry about. I'm going to say hi to Gamlin. I'm in the neighborhood. Which I don't like to admit it, he is the family I got. So you're into elves, huh? I guess I don't have to ask which one of you is the girl. And that comment made me really hate him.
Like, just because I bought them for Fenris doesn't make me a girl. There's a war coming. Does it feel different, fighting by choice? You were never ordered to kill? I was a soldier, but I was willing. I was willing as well, but not by choice. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Does anything in this mess? No, nothing makes sense in this mess, guys. We do what we can. There we go. Hi. Oh, greetings, Messer. Meryl, what are you doing here? We're here about Huon, Misa. Oh. When the Templars came, I told them the truth. I hadn't seen Huon in ten years. But after they left, he... He came to me. He wanted me to hide him. I used to dream of him returning, but not like this. He's changed, and I don't know him anymore. I sent him away. Um. Changed? How has Huon changed? He was obsessed with showing everyone true elven power. He frightened me. Think he might be a blood mage? Did you see him use any magic? Perhaps blood magic? Would she know it to see it? I... I don't know. I don't think he used magic on me. So you hadn't seen him since he left you? Huon didn't leave me. He was taken away. When the Templars found out he was a mage, they chained him and dragged him from the alienage in front of everyone. Now I'm trapped in this, this sham. Married, but with no husband and no future. You okay? Did he hurt you? Only broke my heart. Do you know where he is now? Do you know where Huon went after you sent him away? I don't know. He disappeared. But, but Huon said he would return to take me away from this forever. A user is just looking for another handout. I don't know what he means, and I am afraid of him, sir. Would it help if I returned? I'll make sure you're safe. I would be grateful. Huon said he would come to the alienage soon, at nightfall. Are you... are you going to arrest him? I think he needs help. Maybe the Circle will be able to heal whatever troubles him. Okay. Well, then, I guess we return at night. We'll deal with one at... Hi? Oh, yeah, you want a ring. We'll stay here for the day. Where's the day and, um... Come back at night. Oh, he does not look good. Not good. No, not good at all. Nope. She was so beautiful. 
<sighs> Someday I'd like to go one week without meeting an insane mage. Just one week. I'm visionary. I've seen our destiny. I know what fate holds for the elves. So do I. Humans keep us down because they're afraid of the magic within us. Look at the magic Nisa held inside her. She was just afraid to use it. It's always the same. Always. Great. He's mine. Well, that's one of them down. I gotta get one more piece of armor. Give me a second. I just want to see what I got. Okay, just the helmet. Oh, I need a drink. Then down to Dark Town. I'm just going to go to the hangman for a drink. Oh, way too many. Ha! Exactly. Ha! Ah, oh, more corpses in Lowtown. Your uncle must be happy to have his hobble back 
to himself. Oh, I'm happy to let him stay there. Can't believe he thought you were the bottom, Fenris. I need a drink. After all this, I need a drink. Good point. I should say my game. Dealing with insane mages. I need to get myself drunk. Let Meryl go home. Back to the Foundry District. So you can sneak up on me, huh? Okay, down to Dark Town. Things are heating up. It's a good time not to be a Templar. Oh, yeah. Down to Dark Town. Still not going into the sewers, though. Hi. Guess I have a quest marker on you. We got nothing here you'd want. Get back to High Town and leave us alone. Okay. You're a little young for a blood mage, and I thought Evelina was a girl's name. I'm not Evelina. I'm Walter. Evelina was our friend. She was our mother. Evelina found us when the Darkspawn came, when our parents died. She made sure we got to Kirkwall safely. I miss her. But when she went to join the circle here, they called her apostate for leaving the tower and for Elden. They locked her up. You came from Ferelden? Yes, until we got here, I thought we were the only ones who had survived. Don't you have any other family? Everyone died in the blight. 
Evelina kept picking this up. New children every day. Everyone she could save. Do the Templars know you're here? They don't care. They only want Evelina. Didn't she want to stay free with you? She didn't want us to be stuck in Darktown. She wanted to give us a real life. She thought the Circle would help her, but they just locked her away. Look, I just... If you tell me where Evelina is, I'll try my best to help her. You can trust me. No one can help her. The Templars made Evelina angry. They made her change. It wasn't her fault. When it was over, she was ashamed. She ran into the tunnels and hid. Shut up, Cricket. Don't tell them that. She's in the sewers, child. Okay. You can't go there. She'll know we told you and she'll be angry at us. Angry? I didn't like when she got angry. We we have to hide. Cricket! Oh, great. Nothing but scavenging today. Into the sewers, I guess. I am saving often today. And of course there are demons in the sewers. Demons. Another rage demon, huh?
Watch your step. Done. Okay. Almost. What are you doing here? I, I thought if we warned her about you, she, she wouldn't be angry. But then she... Walter... She's coming! Run! There you are. Don't run from me, Walter. You know those are the rules. Oh. Funny. In my house, we always felt running away from violent mad women was a good thing. These are my children. You and your kind abandoned them. You're Ferelden. Like us. But you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. I spit on you, traitor. And on the perfection ones that sent you, Kirkwall should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. Um, kids. Run. Evelina loved us. She saved us. Why would she try to hurt us now? Evelina would never hurt you, child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, kind, loving woman. I... I'll try. This isn't going to stop. The Templars force our hand. They make us take drastic measures just to be free. Like Evelina did. Exactly. I just don't know what we'll do now. Take this, and use it wisely. Thank you, Messer. I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. Only five? I should be giving them more. They deserve more. Sometimes this game offends me. Okay. Now, I'm going to go speak with some nobles. Break some heads tomorrow, maybe. Good payday. Not all mages are weak. True. Bethany, for instance, was not weak. You specifically don't mention me. That's also true. I'll prove to you that I'm not weak. Prove it to yourself. You're convincing no one else. You have a spirit inside your head, Anders. You're weak. I'm gonna go talk with the Delonces.
Look time wise. We will talk with the Delancees. I definitely do not want anybody respectable to come with me for this one. Just us rogues. Because, honestly, we're not respectable nobles. I think he's asleep. You look lovely tonight, my lady. Oh, you are too kind. I am so honored to have the champion in my home. I will call for refreshments. Um, nice VTuber model you have there. Talia? So slow, this girl. Come, let us chat while we wait. So, I'm gonna be with cheery for a woman whose son is wanted by the Templars. Emil? Oh yes, the Templars were asking about our poor boy recently. I haven't seen Emil since he was taken to the circle. He was just six. You can tell the Templars not to worry. I am sure Emil will turn himself in soon. He is a good boy. Dulce. What have you done? You should have told the boy to throw himself at the mercy of the Templars. Guillaume, darling. Don't darling me, Dulce. He's been telling people he's our son, that you gave him gold. Guillaume, darling, we have guests. Hi. Don't stop on my account. This is fascinating. Uh, I didn't mean to lie to you, champion. I... I barely saw Emil. I didn't think it was worth mentioning. I gave him some money. Not too much. He said he wanted to start a new life. New life? His new life is spent in low town taverns, getting drunk on cheap wine. It's a wonder the Templars haven't found him yet. Help us, please, champion. Emil is not a blood mage, just a foolish boy. Don't let the Templars kill him. Blood mage? Oh, Guillaume, don't say that. Please, save my son's life. It looks like the Comtesse is in greater danger of expiring at the moment. Yes, Dulce. She's high strung. An acquaintance spied Emil in the Hanged Man not long ago. He should still be there. The hanged man. Oh, but that place is filthy. Come, Dulce. Perhaps you should lie down. Oh, but the hanged man is so filthy. <laughs> it is filthy. Yeah. They are so Orlesian. Yep. Yep, and, uh, yep. Ooh. I'm going to their house. How can I resist? Ugh, that statue again. I've never looted their house. But it's still on stage, I don't care. I'm looting their house.
Don't mind me, I'm just here to loot. I am a champion of Kirkwall, after all. I, I should be allowed to loot, right? I'll take that as a yes. I can go everywhere. How often do I get a loot to Hightown Mansion? Where I don't have to kill everybody. Come through these places so often murdering people. Nice just being able to loot. Without having to worry. Oh, I should have brought in crypto so we could take a dump on the on the rug. You would take a dump on the rug for uh, on, on, on some snobby pricks rugs, wouldn't you, Crypto? Yeah, he would. He just looked at me and said, "Yeah, I'd do that for you, Dad. I'd do that for you." No, they're not. Okay. Well, time to go to the, the hanged man. I mean, I don't know why we go there. It's it, it just so filthy. It's like outside my boyfriend's house, guys. Can we, you know, maybe it would be a good idea not to be like, um, right outside of the places the Champion Kirkwall's friends hang out or live. Okay. Isabella said so. I, I, I have to. Okay, now I was heading back to Low Town to go to the Hanged Man to get drunk. And find a meal de lancer.
Emile Delancey? I think he's a little drunk. How do you know my name? Didn't Nella tell you? I gave her my Lancet signet ring in exchange for a kiss. And tonight, she's going to make me a man. The Comte was right. How did the Templars miss him? Here, yeah, come down here. The fool doesn't understand how to lay low. Round of drinks on me. I'm Emile, as you know, and you are. Feeling very sorry for you. I'm also helping the Templars hunt a mage named Emile de Lancet. And here you are. Oh, buggery. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I uh, started that rumor because, uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, but, uh, suave. Uh, uh, I've only told people in the tavern, and only women. You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six? For 20 years I was locked up. I never had a real drink or, or cooked something for myself. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. Ah. <sighs> Did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Well, not just that. I've read so much about the other things you can do with girls. This is an act. The mage makes himself out to be harmless. No. I just don't want to die a virgin. <sighs> you can't run. The Templars will find you eventually. I... I'll make you a deal, all right? Give me one night. Just one night. One of the tavern girls, Nella, agreed to lie with me. I even paid for a room. Please, let me have this. You can take me back in chains after. Why don't you start small and leave the chains for when you're more experienced? Huh? Just go do whatever. Well, I'm not going to tell you about it. Let's just get going. Ah, that was utterly worth it. Back to the Templars. <sighs> <sighs> so, I left some notes on the table the other day. Interesting. Maybe now you should loosen up some restrictions in the gallows. You know, let the the Templar or let let, let, let you know let people you know let let the mages actually you know have fun. Maybe assign a few Templars to the job, or you know let them go to the brothel. Okay, time to get respectable people back. And me, of course. I am definitely not respectable. for its lost prince, Sebastian. Would you give up if the city has moved on? Like Ferelden moved on after Caelan. 
You've been reading. It's a good tale. King Alistair is particularly inspiring. But I doubt that's how you see me. I don't intend to let anyone die restoring me to my place, Aveline. The risks are mine. And that will have to satisfy. It was well said. I give you that. We'll see. Back to the Templars. Maybe now they'll let me see my sister. Can I go visit Bethany? I'm led to believe that both Huon and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. One was a blood mage, the other was an imposter. However, turned himself in. Rather happily, I might add. I would have had him executed immediately. But the boy's father made an impassioned appeal on his behalf. What say you, champion? Do you believe Emil to be dangerous? No, not really. He was never a danger to anyone but himself. Very well. Emil will keep his life. Though I will watch him closely. At least this is over. I bid you good day, champion. Okay. Beric. Okay. Well then, let's just... Go to Low Town and get drunk. She won't let me go see my sister. Wonderful for you. in Starkhaven, but we're having a crisis here. This isn't just a Kirkwall concern. If this chaos spreads, Starkhaven will need a strong ruler to beat back the tide. I've seen greater men than you use that excuse. Noted and ignored, Captain. He, he still hasn't come back to my place with me. And Fenris. Okay, hanged man, then back home. I hear the champion of Kirkwall has killed a dozen dragons and sleeps on a bed. So that's it. You're not returning to Starkhaven now. There are greater things that need to be done, Fenris. And what about avenging your family? Does that not need to be done? What is my vengeance accomplished except to spill more blood? No, I must put my faith in the Maker. He will set my path before me. I can't decide if it is certainty you have or blindness. <laughs> At least you can't decide. So what's up? Uh, for you, yeah. Townhouse Bartran barricaded himself in. Yeah. No point in keeping a house for a dead man. I've been trying to get rid of the place for ages now. I can only imagine there's a huge market for the homes of deranged killers. Oh, there is. The creepy sort of people who are interested are generally not the ones with the coin to take it off my hands. I found a minor noble in Ravain who bought the place sight unseen. But now there's a problem. No, what problem? They say the place is haunted if they hadn't seen the place I'd expect the first complaint to be about the corpses in the hall I may have neglected to mention the mansions of 
colorful past to the buyer. They've noticed some minor problems. Uh, voices whispering in the walls, apparitions, things moving on their own. My hope is it's a relic Bartran brought back from the deep roads. We smash it, and the haunting stops. How oh, we can do that? I'm not an expert on hauntings, but what if smashing something does not make the problem go away? Ah, that's where things get tricky. You come from a family with magic, Hawk. You must have experience dealing with the weird. I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out that will help. I'll take Meryl with me then. What happens if we do nothing? Best case, they drag me before the Seneschal and accuse me of fraud. The worst case involves Antivan Crows. Well then. Very well. We'll investigate the mansion. Again. Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Maker, I wish whoever was telling this story had made me more handsome. Time to go home. And then I want to take a brief break to get some lunch. Because I am very, very hungry right now. Very hungry. I have. A new letter on your desk awaits your attention. Okay. Uh, Monsieur Hawk, and I Commander Meredith expresses her gratitude for services rendered. Please accept this as a token of her humble appreciation. Uh, Hawk, thank you for persuading Emil to do the right thing. The boy may not recognize it, but you probably saved his life. I don't know how to repay you, but this coin is a good start. I took a great deal the other day for you to speak openly against our Knight Commander. You have my support in any actions you take. I hope I have yours as well, for there is a situation in the circle I was hoping you could assist me with. Please meet me at the gallows. Meredith has confined my mages to the cells and forbade me from traveling further than the courtyard. I appreciate your service and discretion. The First Enchanter. As a uh, courtesy for your past service, be aware that I have received complaints about your frequent companion guard, Captain Aveline. She's accused of coddling her men and weakening law enforcement in this crucial time. In the absence of a Viscount, I am called to vacate her position and assume her authority, but I'd rather not have that headache. Uh, please speak with her about these claims. As champion, your word can decide this matter and save the career of a good woman. Yeah, she is a good woman. Uh, Cullen. Dear champion, please meet me in the keep. King Alistair. What does Alistair want with me? Okay, well that one that that one's important. Whoops. That's the important one. Orsino and Meredith can wait. But the, but the king, I, I need to talk with him. Okay. So. I am going to take a break. And when I come back, I should have some lunch. I'm just going to make a quick sandwich. Uh, dogs should be out. And I'll, I'll take the dogs out. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. So. I'll see ya on the flip side. I'll be right back. I'll be back shortly. Okay. Oh, that would be the AC. I got to turn that off now. There we go. I'm back. I just want to get something to eat. I mean, honestly, that's basically all what I want to do. I just wanted to... I wanted to eat. Get some lunch in me. Have a nice sandwich. Some chips. 
So, what we're doing. Oh, I should level up. Okay. Did I put stuff in? No, I did not. Okay. And I gotta go meet King Alistair. Actually, you know what? I should before I do that. Time to go meet the king. I'll take the Ferelins with me. And, 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 and Penrith. I mean, honestly, we're gonna go meet with the king. Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts, as should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Can't anybody be serious around well, here? That was awkward. That's just Meredith's idea of Kirkwall hospitality. Really? Kirkwall brutality? You must rip the skin off your face then. Yeah. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right. I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty. May I say what an honor it is to meet you? Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was a great tragedy. Ah, yes. Yes, it was. Thankfully, the man responsible has paid for that. Say, weren't you a Grey Warden once? That's the rumor. Wait, weren't you? That's the rumor. Huh. I guess we get around. I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. Nah. Things are looking up. It's not often I get called on to meet with foreign leaders. I know you came here from Lothering, a Ferelden refugee that did well for himself, against all odds. Yeah, you best need to attend to me. I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlay. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. So... What's going on with Orlis? There's be a war, then. I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlais isn't the most stable place right now. Okay. Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Oh, yeah. Apparently, <clears throat> some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? No. That's right. Swooping is bad. Call back! So, what's up with Meredith? Having an argument about mages. 
Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle. Of which there aren't many. So... A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Mm, not really. Kirkwall is my home now. I understand. Ferelden's loss. So, um... What do you need me to do? Sadly, it may be too late. Meredith got wind of my arrival sooner than I'd hoped. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. No, it that's what I'm trying to do. Like to keep it from falling apart. Just me standing between the city and disaster, huh? Always. I've been there. Trust me, it isn't pretty. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. He has a name, you know. Just nobody's going to use it. Well, I guess I gotta talk to Aveline. I feel I can be snarky with Alistair. Of the mages I know, you're the one I expected to go out in a blaze. The day is young. It was a compliment, you ass. No, it wasn't. Hello again, Chapman. Back to the barracks. I never tire of it. I gotta talk with you about something anyways, um... You have no Vika. It's clear you're suffering without sufficient leadership. That doesn't grant default authority to you or your commander. It would be easier if you cooperated. Wouldn't it? Guard, Captain. Well, somebody sort of sort of sort up that Templar's butt, and not in the fun way either. Trouble? Yes, he's been hounding me. These Templars strut around as it is, but now it's just out of hand. He could be fishing for a less strenuous position here in the barracks. Well, he won't be getting one from me. That's not what Callan has heard. What are you talking about? That you coddle your men. It's all lies, of course. But it's out there. No wonder the lieutenant was harassing me. Bastards. If they think I'm coddling anyone, it'll be my husband, Donnie. You and I will intercept his patrol tonight. Then you can see for yourself if I'm coddling him. Or any in my command. I don't have to see proof. I already believe you. Of course you do. But nobody questions my leadership without a response. Cullum wants to know if these things are true. You'll be able to tell him. Donick's patrol, Hawk. Me and you, tonight. Can we not do Donick's patrol? Being soft. Not in this lifetime. Trust me, I do not think you're soft. I mean, I'm sure Donick thinks you're nice and soft. I mean, honestly, he's like, yeah, it's my wife. She's nice and soft. At the same time... At the same time, he's also probably like, yeah, there's nobody else I'd rather have at my back. You're soft when you want to be. And Crypto has been saying, has has had nothing but good things to say about you, so, um. You know. K. 
Okay, we'll do this one. We'll intercept Donnick's patrol first. I should speak a little slower because my My mouth can't keep up either. Donick will be on this route. Let's see what his patrol consists of. Oh, great, more. Champion now. You're too much of a chameleon, my friend. I didn't expect to find you so deep in bandits. Yeah, we usually get the streets a little cleaner. Sure. I'll be sore tomorrow, but it was my choice. Tell me what's going on. It's all right. Go ahead. Every guard chooses the patrol they want. My wife promotes from the bold, not the reckless. Action is up, casualties are down. It is remarkable, as are you, love. Thank you. That will do. Another time, Sir Arhawk. Safe travels. You know, you could have just invited, you know, Colin to go with you on patrol. That be sufficient. Take that to the Templar. Yeah, you, you know, you, you could listen. Let's go talk to Cullen. Or you could have just talked to Cullen. You, you know, brought Cullen along. I mean, he's probably getting bored. Stand there at the gallows all day long. Can't be very fun. I'll clean up the streets soon. I should bring my dog out. We got some savers and we'll head off to, to the gallows in the morning.
I'm gonna leave Anders here. I'm gonna leave Anders here. Can I leave Anders here? Trade. Can support the night commander. I don't care a fig for her, but she's the only one holding back the madness in this city. Holding back? She's howling at the bloody moon. Even her own people think she's lost it. What will it take for you to see that she's crazy? Mages in glass houses shouldn't throw fireballs. Good point. Champion, and you are with the captain. None too happy about the accusations against her, I'm sure. You could say that. I have successfully wasted my time, and there is no merit to the claims, as I suspected. Then why press this? Some feel that the solution to the current crisis of leadership is to consolidate authority. As long as these complaints continue, baseless or not, they will serve as justification for eliminating the position of guard captain. It would be the simplest fix, whether or not I agree. Just point me in the right direction and I'll get you some peace and quiet. I have no answers for you other than to say that all of the complaints have come from Lowtown. Guardsman Brennan is on that patrol. Why wouldn't she tell me of this? I don't know, but I do apologize for the assumptions of this incident, Guard Captain. It has been unfortunate. It's not done. To Lowtown Hawk, I need to speak to Brennan. Oh, you will. Gonna go to the hanged man though and bring Meryl out. I mean, she lives in Lowtown, so. I mean, it's the alienage, but still, just in case. Spend the night, spend the day in the bar with the guard captain. She's telling wild stories while drunk. And beating everybody in arm wrestling. I mean, everybody at once. AK, don't mess with her. Please, she's a. Trying to catch the jump on me, huh? Not gonna happen. It's over. We'll do that in a bit. First things first. Deal with the complaints. Guardswoman. Guardsman. I remember you. We saved your butt. Guardsman. Why did a Templar have to tell me there is unrest in this district? What's going on? Better make it good. It's Captain Jevon. 
I didn't report his return because I'm ashamed for him. He's trying to rile the guards against you, but none of us will follow him. You lead better than he ever did. We've made so many enemies. I don't remember him as that impressive. He deserves to be forgotten. He abused his position and blamed me when we caught him. He was well liked by some, but not once the truth was known. Well, let's go have a chat with the man. The guards will have nothing to do with him. So he found others. Militia. Mostly anti ferelden The same kind who were against the Canari. I guess it's been long enough they've forgotten how many the champion killed. A rally against the tyranny of the guard and foreigners who infest Kirkwall. I'm sorry, Captain. You, you gotta go Return clean the, the you gotta go clean the bathrooms for this. The rally is in Dark Town, Hawk. I need to be there. Oh, you will be. Will be. In fact, you know what? Let's go now. Samson. You'll be there, guard captain. And savers. Thank you. Let me make sure there's you know, no body salute here. I mean, they could leave the bodies for the people of Darktown, but they're not going to loot them.
The champion? Here. With the guard, Captain. It's the captain. Are we ready for this? Too long, brave Kirkwall. You did not throw off all others only to fall under Ferelden influence. Leaderless, displaced, alien hands on the most basic authority. Foreign elite bleeding you. Jevon, you disgrace yourself. The Ferelden with the Elysian name. Is there anyone else who so embodies how far this city has fallen? This one is all yours, Captain. Do they know how you sacrificed your men? How you alone disgraced your name? Bitch! You took everything from me! You took it from yourself. The guard know this, and none stand with you. He stands alone. This is no rebellion. It is delusion. A joke inflicted on Kirkwall. Your home and mine. I will not be left with nothing again. No. You shall have less. How's everybody doing health-wise? Oh, we're doing pretty good. Just in time. Hiring mercs? Do you, huh? You fool. Why would you do this? If I live to a hundred, I will never understand his kind. To the barracks, Hawk. My guardsmen will be waiting. Can I look the bodies first? Thank you. Okay. And there we go. Fresh armor for Aveline. No, I don't really like Darktown that much. Gonna be honest, I need the open air.
And back to the barracks. Yes? Is it like you thought? It's nice, isn't it? He seems nice. Yes, he's very nice. I know, and you're so cute Hello when you're with Hello. him. Not like normal you at all. Haven't you got something unholy to do? No, we're following Hawk. That's important too. Back to the barracks. I never tire of it. Jevon, son of a bitch. You build a good thing, work your hardest, and the past just claws at you. Tell me about it. I can't go 20 minutes without getting jumped. But when does it start to hurt those you care about? I try to lead well, but this... I wonder what I would do if my captain lost my respect. Captain, we're waiting for orders. Will you accept them? May I speak freely? There isn't a man or woman here who wouldn't follow you through the void. Captain. I'll take it. If you'll excuse me, Hawk, my guardsmen need me. Yes, they do. And then he says, he says, I swear I had two when I came in here. <laughs> hmm. You know, those stains never came out. You are horrible. Every inch. You love it, big girl. And you owe me for the bottle. Hawk. <laughs> She's not so bad. Except when she is. Did you know I've been dead for seven years? Really? I got word last week. They only just sorted the casualties of Ostagar. <clears throat> the king has offered to reinstate the commission of any surviving officers who will return to Ferelden. And? And what? Does this appeal matter? I thought you were sworn to Caelan. King Alistair has apparently become something of a sensation. A champion of hope. Regardless of who has the throne, I served Ferelden. The country survives, even if Kaelin didn't. You brought it up. What's your decision? It's been a strange time here in Kirkwall. Do you ever think about that last night at Ostagar? How it happened? I don't mean the betrayal. Everyone knows the signal went up and the flanking charge never came. But that moment when the tower lit and then... The fight just kept going. It was the oddest feeling. Hope answered with... Nothing. I don't like the thought of going out with a whimper, Hawk. Not again. Shock of shocks. You're staying. You'd walk all over a new captain. I could never subject these men to that. Now, oh, come on. You never let me have any fun. I have so much because of you. you never let me have any I fun, Evelyn. You, Hawk, and for myself. Guard captain. Okay, what kind of trouble next? I think we'll do that one. And help Varric out. I think I am going to take Beric. I won't take Isabella. I think that'll be a good group, right? Right. Ah, I think it'll be a good group. Good people. Good friends. 
Good food, good meat, good god, let's eat. Do you with Bartrand's home? I'm gonna need my dog for this, I think. We've got ghosts! What a great way to start off spooky season, I guess. Creepy blood mages and ghosts. Guys, hearing that, right? Hey, is that music? Where is that coming from? I don't hear anything. Something in this house is restless. Besides me? I guess the buyer wasn't kidding. That would be quite the trick at parties. I didn't have to see anything. Where is that voice coming from? What voice? Oh great, now my companions are hearing stuff that I'm not. And our dwarf was going crazy. Seems everything's in order right now. I can't do that. We get it already. House haunted. You can stop now. We're getting closer. I can feel it, Hawk. Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Bartrand was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <laughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. The clay was from the Adrosatuna River, which never sees the sun! Arr! There's no way you're talking about the same Bartrand that I met. Maker's truth. There were tears in his eyes. I never thought that was possible before. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. Great. <clears throat> Sentimental chunk. So we're dealing with a poultry geist. You know, one of these days I will finish that movie. I did start that movie once. Ah! Sorry. This isn't being caused by some random artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. It has to be. I hope not. Okay. Guess the spirits want me to come in here. Sit down for a nice dinner. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi? I don't think I can do that. At least they're tidy. Whatever is here is angry. Pop 
Probably because they had the, the anger because they had to put the books away. You know. See, look at it. It's a polite ghost. It's a polite ghost. Okay, that's the way out. I don't want to leave yet. Not until we solve the mystery. I just don't want to know what my options are. We were just over there. I really should have gone to the privy before coming in here. Well, I did, so, um, I kind of need to go again. Okay, there was an auto save. Just, just what I needed. Ah, loot. That always makes me feel better. Done. Let's go through this other door. Not going to happen. Or not. Okay, I'm gonna make a save. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. Where's the idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. Varric. Take it easy, Varric. She's telling us what she can. He's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. Varric. I, I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Maker, no. It's starting again. Yeah, earthquakes aren't good. Especially in haunted houses. Oh, just a golem. Demons. That's so good. And more demons, wonderful.
so dramatic. This, this is a piece of the idol. No, oh, I should have known Bartrand would lie to me. Of course he'd keep a piece of the statue for himself. Think of what we could do with this. I don't know about you, Varric, but I don't want to end up like Bartrand. I'm not my brother, Hawk. The idol drove him crazy, but this is just one tiny piece. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. My only hope of finding out what happened to my brother is with this shard. Varric, it's dangerous. Varric, if you keep that thing, you'll go mad. I'll have to kill you, and Bianca will be heartbroken. You're not listening, Hawk. I know I can handle this shard. Acting crazy is not a compelling argument in favor of keeping that accursed thing. Fine. I don't really want to argue about this anyway. Take it. It's your problem now. Maybe Enchantment Boy can dispose of the thing for you. Let's go. I think I could use some air. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's any more loot. It should be clear of being haunted right now, but right? Should be okay to live in now. Oh, and we can get some air. I'm going home. I'm just going to go back to the house and, you know, get something to drink and... trying to get away sailing into the storm was a gamble took care of the dreadnought but it did us in too can't win them all where i come from we would call that insanity nothing ventured nothing gained plus it's insane just saying He's handled got something for you. Think you can do something with this sandal? Is that lyrium? I've never seen anything like that. It's dangerous. Varric suggested sandal might be able to dispose of it. I think my boy can do better than that. Oh, enchantment. I love sandal. Okay, what quests do we got for the companions? Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Meryl first, and then we'll go... Yeah, we'll do that. I'll do finish up the companion quests. I'll take Sebastian. I'm gonna say hi to Tarbis. Say you eat the dead up there and murder strangers in the street. 
Why do I suspect that when you say you've heard rumors, you mean you've invented some? Six of one, half dozen of another. Have you located any Canari blades? Here you go, bud. This is what I found. Do you require gold for this task? No, not really. I'm not doing this for the money. Very well. Doing this out of respect, man. I respect you guys. The soldiers. Not the canary leadership. Let's we'll start with Merrill's house. Letheline, I need to ask you for a favor. I thought the Arulin home would be the last thing I needed, but the Alluvian still won't work. I think... I think I have to go back to the spirit that helped me at the start of all this. Uh, you mean demon? What do you mean it doesn't work? Well, look at it. Do you think it's supposed to just sit there and show nothing at all? I can feel the power in it, but it's like it's asleep. I can't seem to wake it. Don't have a key for it. Why do you think this demon will help? He knows about the mirror. I don't know how much. He won't tell me everything, and it's dangerous to trust. He said he witnessed its forging. He told me how to cleanse it of its corruption. He must know how to make it work. Summoning a demon can't possibly be the only way to fix the mirror. Someone else must know something. The Alluvian was lost before Arlathan fell. The only creatures who would know anything about it are in the Fade. I've called to the spirit, but he doesn't seem to hear. He was sealed in an artifact on Sundermount. I have to look for him there. But if things go wrong, if he possesses me, I need you to strike me down. You would risk becoming an abomination for this mirror. How is it worth that? If it brings back this artifact of the Elven, if it gives us even one piece of our history, it's worth any risk. There's no one else I trust. Letheline, please, come with me. I don't want anything bad to happen. Go to Marathari. Maybe there's an alternative to summoning the demon. The Keeper would never help me. Why do you think I had to find the demon in the first place? The whole clan has moved on by now anyway. You'll never find her. No, they're still there. It was already there not that long ago. Is this for me? It's beautiful. Do you know what it is? Not really. Well, I thought so right up until you asked me that. It's Sylvanwood. Rare as diamonds. You only find it in very old, very wild places. The carvings tell a story of the betrayal. The dread wolf tricking all the gods away from the world. Start at the beginning. What happened to the gods? We'll Long find out ago, soon. There were two clans of gods. The creators looked after the people. The forgotten ones preyed upon us. And one god who was neither. Fan Harrell. The dread wolf. He was kin to the creators. I'll never see that guy. Never. Totally not. Endless war against the forgotten ones. I assume he got tired of helping. That he did. Van Harrel was clever. He could walk among both clans of gods without fear, and both believed he was one of them. He went to each side, and told them the other had forged a terrible weapon, a blade that would end the war. He told the creators it was forged in the heavens, and the Forgotten Ones that it was hidden in the abyss. That mutually, ex mutually exclusive. Went seeking it, he sealed them both in their realms. I mean, honestly. 
It could have been forged in the heavens and then somebody put it and sealed it in the abyss. I imagine the Dalish don't depict the doom of their gods just for decoration. Not exactly, no. This was made for a keeper, you see. Guarding a clan from the dread wolf is a keeper's place. It's a very sweet memento, thank you. Haha. -ha. I'm up net five. Varric. Listen, Hawk. I don't know what came over me back there in Bartrand's house. I'm glad you're watching my back. Hey, it's what I do, man. That's what I'm here for. That and doing all the fighting. You know what I like about you, Hawk? Your humility. What are you having? Edwina, let's get a couple of drinks here. Come on, Edwina. Where's the drinks? Hawk. Ugh. This is awkward. Uh. You. At a loss for words. I should mark this down my calendar. Enjoy this while it lasts. It might never happen again. Look. I just want to say, it has been an honor knowing you. Uh-oh. Are you about to die? Am I? Why so serious all of a sudden? Don't panic. I just needed to get that off my chest. You know it's six years today. Six years since I found you dragging your tail out of Bartrand's office. Yeah, and look at me now. Here's to whatever comes next. Okay. Okay, um, we'll do that one. Let's see who needs rescuing now. I, hear the champion of I still don't use the air shock skull as a gravy boat. say this but the shiny white armor it works for you that's uncharacteristically kind of you varric makes you look like a lacquered pilot whale ah no that was much more in character hey i like his armor i think it's cool you there did my love send you Will you take me to him? Uh... Either your father didn't give me the whole story, or I really, really hope you're talking about someone else. Fainriel, the man of my dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainriel spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. Oh, that's nice. Please take me to Fainriel. I want to thank him properly. I'm sorry, but I have no way to locate him. Hey, what did you do to my man? Give huh? you to your girl and dead. Really? Well, he's into Vinter, so... I will find my way back to Kirkwall. The walk will tire me, and we'll be reunited 
in my dreams. Fenriel, my love, I'm coming. Okay, then. I mean, it's nice to see Fenriel mastering his powers. I mean, obviously, you know, he walked the fade, fade and um, took care of them in, in, in their dreams. Because, you know, he can do stuff like that. I would assume. I mean, that's what I assume a dreamer would be able to do. I'm, I'm going to see if there's any more, more teleport See if there's any more canary swords out here or backpacks. Do it. No, I should bring I should bring the puppy out. Let me grab my Mabari. I'm glad I'm doing good. I don't know if there's any more Canary Swords. Yes, there are. Okay. I knew there was at least one out here. There might be one in the sewers, too. Yeah, I got some more canary. Need a, you know, they got some aggression somewhere, I guess. Doesn't look like anything's going on down that way. I want to see. I want to see if anything's going on down that way. If there is, I'll say, you know, go back and. Hmm. 
Okay, it doesn't look like anybody thinks going on this way yet. Just somebody blowing the coast. <clears throat> That's good. Still going to continue my search, though. Make sure nothing's happening. Get as many of these canary swords as possible. Plus, I want to find that other mage, or the other shop, the one that's up out here. See if he's got a backpack. Because somebody's got to have another backpack. And canary swords. Yay, another one. Gonna get all the canary swords. <clears throat> Mace, robes, no others, huh? Oh. I'm loaded up on chunk anyways. Now we can go back in the main path. Make sure there's uh nothing left to worry about. Okay. Oh. Back to Kirkwall, I guess. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. I'm just going to go back to the house. Oh.
Mm. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Next. I should get something to drink. I'm going to stay hydrated. And caffeinated. Definitely need to stay caffeinated. I mean, honestly. Okay. That's the one I'm going to do next. Okay. I'm going to need... I think Varric, Meryl, last time I did with, I'll do all mages this time. Show Anders exactly what's up. Telling a joke wrong, anyways. It's uh, three Templars walked into a bar, and the mage ducked. Keeper. Welcome home, Dalen. This isn't a homecoming, Keeper. Why is the clan even here? You should have moved on ages ago. The clan still has business here, Dalen. We will leave when it is time. It was time three years ago. You can't stay here. Eventually, the humans will force you to leave. There are plenty of hiding places in these mountains. We will stay until my business is done. If you are not returning to us, what has brought you back? If one of the Dalish becomes an abomination, what do you do? If you are hoping the Dalish hold miracles, child, I'm afraid you will be disappointed. Even if the demon is driven out, the soul is left scarred. It can never recover, not truly. Like a wounded animal, it will fall prey to scavengers. The only cure is death. Your first is going to summon a demon to get advice about her mirror. Did you really have to say it that way? Yes, you're her first. I've already done everything in my power to stop this, and some things that were beyond my strength. I had rather hoped you might succeed where I failed. I'll do what I can to buy you time. Talk to her. Save her from this. Yeah, Meryl. No offense, but... I mean, I'll do what you want, but... I'm hoping somebody could talk some sense into you. This is dangerous. I don't want to lose a friend. I don't, don't know why I'm bothering with this. But you do realize this is crazy, right? Believe me, I noticed. If I had any other choices, I'd take them. You have choices. You always had choices. Stop using blood magic. Get rid of that damned mirror. Well, in that case, I'll head back to Kirkwall and throw it away. Right after you abandon the plight of the Circle of Mages. Ah, uh, why is everybody in this my, my party? It's 
Such idiots at times. Spiders. Ah, uh -huh, screw it. I really do not want to do spiders right now. One less to worry about. I really... I was like, I'm done with giant spiders for now. Maybe some more later, but right now, definitely not. No more giant spiders. Okay, an arcane horror. That's a different matter entirely. I'm gonna go loot the bodies. I need loot. Back up to center mount again. Everyone's fine. Shades I like. I don't care about shades. It's, it's just the giant spiders. I am so tired of spiders. There we go. Okay. Meryl, we're heading up that way. Up to Sunder Mount again.
Where we brought back uh, the old hag who talks too much. Alright. All mothers, protector of the people, watch over us. For the path we tread is perilous. Save us from the darkness, as you did before. And we will sing your name to the heavens. Sorry. I didn't mean to hold us. You just... It's never wise to ignore Mithal. Who or what is Mithal? I don't know. She's the protector. The mother of the creators. The one who put the moon in the sky. Wisest of all the gods. When Elganon defeated his father, the sun, the earth was plunged into darkness. Everything was about to perish. Mithal appeared then, calmed Elganon, and restored the sun to the heavens. The people always look to her for help. If she's temperamental, maybe I should join you. It wouldn't hurt. They say if Mithal smiles on you, then you need fear nothing at all. But then I'm good. Anger her, they're struck from the earth, as if they never lived at all. Then I'm good. I do. Because I got friends in high places. Anybody else get the feeling that this is going to end badly? Just me, huh? No. It's not all bad, Varric. Think of the stories you'd be able to tell later. Uh, no offense, Daisy, but I could live without telling anyone we murdered you on some mountainside. It's a little hard to make that one sound good. Okay, dragonlings I'm okay with. Up to the top of the mountain, I guess. No, no, it wasn't. But if if you, if you want to claim it was, who thought putting a demon in a cave on Sundermount was a good idea in the first place? Where would you have put him? To Vinter, maybe, or in the Anderfells. Further away from Kirkwall, that's for sure. A yeah, good point. Ah, uh, soon. You know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna make sure I need, need to make sure my controller is recharged. This is not gonna end well. Not at all. I ask the mirror to just return with the intact mirror. I go, this is what we got. I know how to rebuild and cleanse one of these things. You know. Something simple. That's taking the knowledge back to the, her people. So 
something is wrong. This is where the spirit was bound. But now it feels... empty. Mm. So... Maybe it freed itself. It would have taken powerful magic to break him free of this prison. You couldn't just set him loose. Nobody could. Not without doing something terrible. This is very wrong. Who bound this demon here and why? There was a war long ago. Between my people and the Tevinter Imperium. Who hasn't been to war with the Tevinter Imperium? The I've been to war with the Tevinter Imperium. Stand here, fighting on the graves of our elders. I don't know if it was the Elvenan or Tevinter who bound the spirit. But he was left here from the war. How are we going to finish the mirror now? I don't know. I don't understand what's happened. How can he be gone? I happened. Keeper. What have you done? The demon's plan was always for you to complete the mirror. It would have been a doorway out of this prison and into our world. You would have been his first victim. I couldn't let that happen, Dalen. He didn't think to mention that the demon was gone before we hiked all the way up here. I have everybody to be snarky right now. It's not gone. I couldn't fight it in the Fade while it was trapped. And I couldn't banish it without making it stronger. So, I made myself its prison. Kill me, and it dies too. <laughs> Meryl will finally be safe. No! You can't ask that. I won't do this. You always knew your blood magic had a price, darling. I have chosen to pay it for you. Dareth Shira. Meryl's pride. May the Dreadwolf hunt you for the rest of your days. Oh great, no creepy voices. I was trying to rebuild my life. Why did you have to come back and destroy? We're cursed. How many glib words have come out of your lips? All testament to your cleverness. Everyone has fed me. Well then, I hope you get full. should hear the good news you told us that the demon was bound to your life it would only die with you Irabalas keeper I'm sorry keeper I really don't like that one because most of the wrong face that, that's the keeper of my clan because I do a dealish origin all the time, and keeper. that's my clan in in origins, and I just don't like seeing my keeper die. What have you done? I don't want this. I never wanted this. Creators, please let this be a bad dream. I wake up and feel like an idiot, and she'll scold me for not listening. Exactly which part of don't talk to demons or awful things will happen did you fail to understand? 
If there was a price to pay, I should have paid it. She had no right to interfere. I don't think anybody wanted this. Not even the demon. Marathari did what she had to. Why couldn't she have believed in me? That was the noblest thing I've ever seen anyone do. The world is poorer for having you in it instead. Oh, shut up, Don't Anders. I, I should go to the clan. God, you're such a jerk, Anders. To know, needs to come and take care of her. He is such a jerk. Yes, I'm moving her body. What of it? Okay. In case I get the raw, the outcome I don't want. We know the Keeper came here. What's going on? Where is she? Feneral. The Keeper. She. Look at her, Feneral. She's covered in blood. What have you done, Meryl? Keeper, can you hear me? Okay. She's dead. I should have guessed you'd turn on her. You monster. Okay. I know. I think this is the right one. This was a tragedy. I promise you I'll make sure no one else is hurt by Meryl's blood magic. You expect us to take the word of a Shemlin? Stand down, Anaria. She was our first once. The Keeper loved her. More than she loved the clan, it seems. Feneral, I'm sorry. I never wanted this. If I could have saved her, if I could have died instead, I would have. Words are cheap. That you're still breathing says enough. Enough, Anaria. Human, take Meryl away from here. Yeah, I'm not about to kill her clan. I just want to see where my friendship was with her. It's like, I know there's a wrong way to do it, and I wanted to make sure I didn't do it the wrong way. Well, if I did the wrong way, at least I wouldn't have a you know, chance to go back and do it just, just to make myself feel a little bit better. I just can't kill the clan. Honestly, I understand that. What you did was a stupid thing, Meryl. An incredibly stupid thing. In the world of Dragon Age, you don't... You have this Demons. Twine? When did I loan you a ball of twine? You gave it to me when I first moved here, when I kept getting lost in Lowtown. It drove the merchants in the market completely batty, but it did help me find my way. Keep it, Daisy. I don't think I'll be getting lost again anytime soon. Oh, you never know. Might need to tie a package up, hang a lantern, dress a roast chicken. It's multi-purpose. I wish I had the choice of one more mage. Oh. I want Bethany back.
Go to Merrill's house first, I think. And then I'm just going to take a brief break to stretch and stuff. Like I said, I'm trying to get through as, act, as far as Act 3 as possible. Okay. I want to see if there's anything I could do there. Okay. I'm going to take a brief break. Do it, get a little stretch in. Maybe see if the puppies need to go out and go potty. And get the AC on he in here for a little bit. So I will be back shortly. Um... See ya on the flip side.